majestic shots again from Stick and really making Rossi work. So now it's love 30. And a change of racket. And particularly worrying for Rossi is that Stick made two superb forehands in that particular rally and drew Rossi out wide to the forehand and therefore exposed his weaker wing. That's what Stick has to do. Rossi loves to run round and play with the forehand from the backhand corner. Quite. Everything right about the shot and the way it looked. Just an inch or so the wrong side of a line. Yes, it was that hook shot that only the really best players can do. They're hooking it round with a little bit of side spin and didn't have quite enough. Round the ball as well as through it. Quickest serve so far, 196 Ks. And here's the first break point of the match so far. Well, that was an overall from Mike Morrissey. There was no call from the net court judge, but uh, no protest from either player. Oh. Nope. Sure. It's long, Stick. and Stick strikes here at just the right time. Stick. After 25 minutes, he now serves for the set. Exactly the same as in the match with Pierlin. He broke for 5-3 in the first set. Mind you, he was broken back to 5-4 and then broke again to get the set. Yeah. Oh, yes. And you can hear the acknowledgement from Stick way before the yes. ball bounced, almost as it passed him. Too short the approach, it was only just beyond the service line, and that gave Rossi the, the time to make the pass. Lovely volley. Cancel. The weight distribution wasn't perfect, but he manufactured the shot terrifically. And he got the perfect direction, and Rossi was hoping he'd get a nice short ball to his forehand. Suddenly he had to turn, and that's tough when he's 6 7. Against Trons. That's wide. Rossi knows he has to put pressure on Stick, and he's doing so. Tronta. Get uh, really upset with himself, can the Swiss? Return just good enough. I'm not sure about how much of the sweet spot of the racket he got onto it, but it worked. It was one of those annoying ones. Miss hit. Was he going to go out? Stick was hesitating, decided to play it. So after one break, it's Rossi now who has his first break point. can be his own man sometimes, but he was giving Stick an awful Come lot of the centre there. Still brave, though, isn't it? You break point down, you're serving for the set, and, and he offers it to you and you take it. A lot of people would have just copped out, as it were, and 
Gone for the safe serve. Third ace. Well played, Rossi. Oh, that's tough. Really tough because that stick shot could really have gone anywhere. <laughs> it was a stick, stick out the racket and hope, if you'll excuse the pun on the German's name. And it landed on the line. So here, after 29 minutes, is set point. Uh, a little fortunate. Michael Stick, a set up against Mark Rosset. He'll be back. Michael Stick has an ice bucket alongside him and uh, plenty of ice in a towel which he had round the back of his neck during the last change round. Even though things are going very well, he's aware. And Sean McEnroe says we could be here for a while. So he's taking all the precautions. A little bit of extra time, of course, during that change of ends as the court was uh, dragged and the line swept. Very high first serve percentage, 75 for Rossi, and he's the one who's been broken. The Hawkins. Perhaps we shouldn't have pointed it out. Talking of John McEnroe, and there he is. Commentating here for American television. Is this just the technique faulty for a moment or disappointment showing itself? That was certainly technique. I mean, he's a huge man. He's got to get the ball up. He hardly threw that second serve ball up at all. Sometimes his head can go wandering. Often in press conferences, we ask him what's gone wrong. Is it a forehand, backhand? He goes, nope, my head. And the head seems to be um, a little adrift from the rest of him at the moment. And here's, here are three break points. Yeah. Terrific pass. Yeah. But what on earth was going on in Rossi's head in that game? Suddenly, it's a mountainous task. All the theorizing in the world sometimes will get you no nearer the truth as far as Mark Rossi is concerned, so we just have to watch and try and make our own interpretations. It's a set and one love to shtick at the moment. But just as quickly as he switched off, he might switch back on again. And then we have a contest again. It's catching. Shtick's first double. Forehand that is deserting Ross at the moment. I mean, this was a comparatively easy pass. You can see he's got plenty of time. It's a short shot from Stieg, and you would expect Rossi to make that nine times out of ten. Yes, yeah, even off balance, he still looks elegant, and he can oh, still yes. put it away. backhand down the line is a very useful shot against Rosso because again he's always edging over to that backhand side and just as Rosso's form is beginning to dip or certainly has plummeted Strix is rising all the time and so important that it should, because when you sense that your opponent has gone walkabout doing an Yvonne Goulagong, you've got to grind it, grind him down. Well, Rossi is 
out of this match at the moment. Four games in a row. In fact, five. Five in a row to Michael Stick. It's absolutely vital that Rosse wins this. Otherwise, again, he's going to have to come back from two sets to love down. Which is one thing against Bert Kabacher. Another against this German. He's got a little ahead of himself on that shot stick. He was ready to play it and then the ball hadn't got to him yet. Mate and former doubles partner, Mr. Nastasi, didn't do too well in the election. Is he? that right? Didn't follow the. Uh, I thought he was going to do well. Yes, everybody did, but he came a very distant second. Did he? Sure. Mark Rossi is back with us, but he's left himself a lot to do in this set. 2 1 Stick, he leads by a set. Centre court filling up. You can see the president's box, they're still uh, eating away. The village, but uh, along the sides and at the ends, we're just over half full now. I think around seven, eight thousand people in. Oh. <laughs> I got in your head that as 162. I have to say, I don't have complete trust in it. No, it does come up with some very strange readings from time to time. <laughs> it's got that at 104. Yes. I well, sure don't believe that. It's more like 204. What he was doing early on, Rossi, playing those forehands from the backhand court and doing it well. looking down the court at him as if to say there's not a lot I can do if you play like that no uh, Rossi did nothing wrong in this it's superb anticipation from Sticks he's covering the down the line he was standing on that side of the court he was offering Rossi the cross court if he could have made it it was too good oh and so sure. is that Stick. Michael Stick in regal form Stick 